Live from Hollywood. and Jerry Lewis Show with Zero Miles, Milton Crow, Marjorie Maughan, Hank Mann, Sylvia Hickel, Marvin Middleburg, the Nick Castle Dancers, and Martin Lewis's special guest, Bill Abrams. Presented by the Colgate Column Palmolive Company. Makers of Colgate Dental Cream. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it guards your teeth. 100% mild palm olive soap. Fab, great new formula fab with more active dirt remover than any other leading product. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Joan Leslie, and this is new Palmolive soap. It's the mildest soap of all. 9,500 skin tests prove new Palmolive soap is far milder than any other leading beauty soap, floating soap, or even cold cream. That's why you can be sure Palmolive is better for complexion care. Believe me, no other leading soap or cold cream gets skin thoroughly clean as gently as new Palmolive. Try it. See if proper care with wonderful new palm olive doesn't bring you softer, smoother, brighter skin. That schoolgirl complexion look. New palm olive soap, proved mildest, better for complexion care. Palm olive, proved mildest, palm olive, proved mildest. Supposed to have a piece of chalk, I rub this out and put 10 cents here. <laughs>
I'm awful hungry, and, and, and I haven't eaten in a long time. Why'd you go get some work? Well, I'd like to get a job so I could work my way home. Well, where do you live? Just down the block. Oh, come <laughs> on. What, what can you do? What kind of work can you do? Oh, well, there's a lot of things I can do, sir. Yeah? Yeah. You can do any kind of work, huh? Oh, oh any kind Hi, of work. Hi, Hello, Milton. I, I, I can do a lot of things, yes, sir. Yeah, for instance, what can you do? Is this what you do? That's about it. I yeah. <laughs> no, look, I, uh, what really can you do? Maybe I could give you a job or something. Well, I do Charlie, a lot. What? Left you six pies, three custard, and three boys and berries. I don't want boys and berry pie. Now, what can you do? Well, what do you mean? I'd you like don't to explain. You see, we don't sell. Those. A lot of people take me for a silly kid, but I understand that here there are an awful lot of nice and people, and I'd like to explain to you, sir. Look, I know the kind of business you operate. It's certainly not my place to walk in and expect a guy like you just to take a kid off the street and give him. Oh, I know all the stories, the hard luck stories, and all that. But you can believe me when I tell you I'm the kid boy. At least I can give you some help around the joint. You know what I mean? And I think I might help you out a lot. What do you say? When did your new record come out? <laughs> oh, there's the bus. Oh, there's the bus. The stew mill. I gotta get the bus. Oh, let me help you out. Give me a job, will you please? Wait, hold it down. What'd you say? Just give me a job. Let me work here. I could use another waiter. How about 30 bucks a week and all you can eat? Oh, but you gotta be fast. Speed. Speed is what I need. Speed. Let me I... see how fast you are. Oh, yes, sir. Fast. I'll, I'll, how I'll, fast? I'll really show you, sir. Go. <laughs> You're not doing nothing. Oh. Come on, get here. <laughs> See what they want. All right. Order. What, what, what would you people like? Uh, we're all together here. Let's have five orders of spaghetti. Five, five orders. Five orders of spaghetti. Yeah. Thank you very much. Five orders of spaghetti. Back. Give them their spaghetti. Yeah, but this is very long spaghetti. Yeah, I got in the suit. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody take your plates even late. <laughs> First time I ever saw a suit with two pairs of jackets. <laughs> Why you? Please, please, bus number 1144 for Stubbenville and Cleveland now departing. Hello, the Lord. There's your bus. You'll hear from my lawyer about this. Hi, hi, hi. Well, you see what you did? You see what you did? Well, I'm sorry. I spoiled all my spaghetti. Everybody left without pay, and now I'm stuck with it. You got to pay for this. Yeah, but I don't make a lot. I'll give you a raise. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Okay. I can always put the spaghetti back, you know, so I can tie it together. Let me through. <laughs> Come here, I, I want to talk to you and show you how you can be a waiter. No, uh, before I talk, I'll get some tea. No, I'll get it for you, sir. It's a very good suggestion. I'll wait on you, show you how good I am. You want some tea? Yes. Shall I make it hefty, hot, and hearty? Try TNT. <laughs> Sick boy. I don't know, Jonathan. Here you are, sir. 
I want ice tea. Put some ice in here. Uh, ice, I U C E, ice. <laughs> <clears throat> well, a funny thing happened to me. Pull in here from all points. Sit down. Since this is a crossroad of travel, I have an opportunity to make a good living. Now oh, yeah, I have I a wife. Let's. <laughs> I have a wife and a couple of kids to depend on me to clothe them and to feed them. You understand? <laughs> Naturally, this operation is just much too much work for one man. So I need a man to assist me. A man with integrity and above all, speed. Speed. There's another bus load. Now's your chance. Come on, show. Let's go. <laughs> Spaghetti. Uh, I want baked halibut. Halibut? Baked halibut? Yeah, baked halibut. Is that so? Yeah. yeah. You'll take spaghetti like everybody else. How do you like, like that? that? We got a business running here. Thank you want to break up a set? Everybody's. 13 for Denver now departing on a board. Come on, stay here. Nobody <laughs> leaves my place. It's 12 years. Bus has been going out of here, out of here, and I never got paid. If you're going to stay here. You're going to eat the spaghetti, and you're going to like it. But Mister, our bus is leaving. Oh, us. Shut, shut up. up. You do like he says. We're running a free. <laughs> Spaghetti with sauce. You're going to get it whether you like it or not. And you're all going to pay me. You can take your time and eat. That bus ain't going anywhere without you. I took care of that. Oh. I brush my teeth once a day. I brush my teeth twice a day. I brush my teeth three times a day. Whether you brush your teeth once, twice, or three times a day, new Colgate Dental Cream gives the surest protection all day long. Brushing for brushing, the surest protection ever offered by any toothpaste, because only new Colgates of all leading toothpastes contains patented Gardol. Here's how Gardol works. What kept me from getting hit? this invisible protective shield. Now, every time you use Colgate's, Gardol binds itself to your teeth, forming another kind of invisible protective shield that won't rinse off or wear off all day. Every time you use new Colgate's, it stops unpleasing breath instantly, fights tooth decay 12 hours or more. Tests showed the greatest reduction in tooth decay in toothpaste history. So brush your teeth as often as your dentist tells you. But whether that's once, twice, or three times a day, New Colgate Dental Cream gives the surest protection all day long. Brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream. It cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Why to guard your teeth? That was my partner. And he sings pretty nice, I think. A whole lot of times he sings good. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to make a 
personal thank you to all the wonderful people, the firemen particularly, for their mercy march for muscular dystrophy. You did a great job, fellas. We're very, very grateful for helping the wonderful kids. And to the Brentwood Country Club here in town, thanks so much for all the wonderful help and your contributions. We'd like to, oh, just mention that our guest star, Phil Abrams, is here. And we're going to introduce him in a very short time. Brother, nobody gets clothes as dirty as three backyard beavers. Get those clothes into Fab, Mom. No other kind of product washes as clean and white as Fab. There's more active dirt remover in Fab, Fab, Fab. Yes, there's more active dirt remover in fake new Fab. Fab has more active dirt remover than any other leading product. Fab washes really white and clean. The whitest white and cleanest clean. Get F-A-B Fab. No wonder Fab, with more active dirt remover, washes clothes the whitest, white, and cleanest clean you've ever seen. Only Fab gives you so much active dirt remover, plus two such fabulous whitening ingredients that clothes need no bluing, no bleaching except for stubborn stains. Fab really cleans, really whitens. Dad's clothes, sister's clothes, junior's clothes. Fab washes the whitest, white, and cleanest clean. Yet Fab is milder to hands than even leading floating soaps. So get new Formula Fab with more active dirt remover than any other leading product. Excuse me, Miss Adams. Yes, Bertha? Mr. and Mrs. Martin are here. Oh, yes. That's the couple who want to adopt a little boy. <laughs> are the children ready? Yes, they're all scrub washed and nervous. <laughs> we'll bring them in, dear. Then Mrs. Martin, Mr. and Mrs. Martin in, please. Oh, how, how do you do, do? Miss Adams? How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Sit down, do Thank make you. yourself comfortable. The children will be here in a moment, mm. and I'm sure you can make your choice. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too, I always wanted a kid. Well, <laughs> <laughs> children are all ready now. Bring them in, dear. That's right, children. <laughs> Oh, Dean, I say, darling. Look at the one in the yellow shirt. Look at the one with the head. They're real pretty. <laughs> oh, I hope we can make a choice, Dean. Uh, I'm sure we will, Vera. Mm -hmm. Here we have Albert, James, Robert, Peter, Charles, and uh, where is the... Oh, there you are, dear. Come along. Come along. Don't be shy. <laughs> Adeline, dear. Now, children, this is Mr. and Mrs. Martin. And today they're going to choose one of you to take home for their very own. <laughs> well, there they are, Mr. Martin. Well, uh, I'm going to take a look at these uh, beautiful boys. You, step forward. Uh, what's your name? Concentrate. No, that's not it. I didn't think so. Oh, I had it on a piece of paper, but I lost don't, it. Don't you know your own name? Uh, oh, yeah, I know now. I'm, uh, my, my, my name is Orville. Well, uh, you seem to be a little bit... Orville! <laughs> yeah, that's my Why name. Why, he looks so much older than these other little boys. Orville's been with us a long time. Uh, 29 years. <laughs> He's so much older than the others. It's been rather difficult placing him. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> An older boy like Orville might be just right for us. This is Dr. Coffee Nerves. 
the lady may have a good point. Take heed to her. Well, I, I think we can work something out here, honey. Well, he'd be more of a son. He'd be a companion to you. You're not kidding. Well, uh, listen, how would you like to come home with us? <laughs> well, let's not try for an award. Just a... <laughs> Uh, would you like to come home with us? Let's not get sickening about it. <laughs> would you? Do you mean me? <laughs> oh, I would love that. Good. Oh, I'd waited so long. Oh. Goodbye, Dutch. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Pinky. <laughs> Rita, Ethel, Take care of yourself. You've got to cut out that smoking. You know? <laughs> I think we, we've made a choice, honey. May I help you pack your things with that? Fine, I'll show you where they are. We'll be right back, dear. All right. Bye, uh, Orville. Orville. <laughs> Orville? Well, looks like I got myself a kid. Yeah, yes, Dad. And we're gonna be pals, right? <laughs> I would think so, Dad. <laughs> I think we're going to be friends and buddies. <laughs> yes, sir, e boy. I bet you're right. <laughs> and we're going to go fishing and skiing and fight every day, huh? And going. Yeah, boy, I like to go fishing and skiing and whatever else oh. you said. <laughs> Aren't you overacting a little bit, am I? to play games like the bear hug, you know what I mean? You know, sort of play with each other. Yeah, I like to play those games. You yeah. know what I like better than that? What? Wrestling! Oh, wrestling. I love wrestling! <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Please, I choose! Oh, shut up! <laughs> Come, dear. Now, you'll be sure to have him at our house by six. He'll be there. Good. Uh, goodbye, Orville. Uh, goodbye, Mother, and here's your hat, Daddy. Well, I'll see you at the house. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh, aren't I a lucky fellow? I have waited for 29 long, hard years. But my waiting was not in vain. Oh, boy, and such nice people. It's good fortune for them that now they will have the little patter of feet around the house. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Aren't I a happy boy? He's a wonderful son. I'm so proud of him. Oh, I can hardly wait till they get here, and it'll be any minute now. Yes, she's bringing him over from the orphanage. Yes, he's wonderful. Oh, wait till you see him. He's so different. Yes, yes. Oh, there they are now. I must go. I'll call you later. Goodbye. Miss Adams. How do you do? How are you? Hello, Orville. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Stop stamping your feet when you walk. Pick up your feet when you walk, dear. like to see his room, please. Regulations, you know. Surely I understand. Fine. This way. Oh, and Orville. Mr. Mark. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> we'll be home soon. Now, I want him to love you as much as I do. So be very kind to him. Oh, yeah, I will. I will. I'll be very kind. When Mr. Martin comes, show him you love him. Oh, yes, I will. Be very helpful. Oh, I'll help him out all the time. I'll help him a lot. I really will. I'll be a real helper. I'll help him out all the time. Whenever he wants something, boy, oh boy, I'll help him. Won't I be a helper? Uh-huh. <laughs> Just a little thing to make him comfortable. Oh, you mean I should help him? Sure. <laughs> yeah, all right, I will. I'll do that in Saturn. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you make yourself at home now, Orville. We'll be right back this way. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Boy, this sure is nice here. What a swell house. Honey, I got a feeling I'm home. Take off your coat. 
there anything I can do for you? Can I help you out, Dad? Any, uh, anything you want? You want me to help? Let me take no, your coat. I just feel. I'll take your coat for you, Dad. What do you want? Oh, I just want to relax, you know. Yeah, well, let me take, let me take off your glasses for All you, right. Dad. Okay. Yeah. These are Easy. very tight. Easy, son. <laughs> Wait. Let's do it like they do it in the movies. You push me, and then it comes off. Okay. <laughs> Oh, for goodness oh. sake. They are. They're both off there, see? Just, just let me alone, will you? I just want to relax, huh? I just want to sit in my rocking chair. I just want to relax. Just let me alone. Yeah, but I just want to... I want to read the paper. No, to... don't you want a refreshment? Would you like something? No refreshment, no. A refreshment? No. No? No, Here, no. look at what we have over here. Nice walnuts. Would you like a walnut? I don't like walnuts. Besides, we haven't got any nut crackers. Oh, we don't need one, Daddy. Do you know that I have a special way to open these up like I do for my friend Hoybee? Friend Hoybee? Yeah. How do you do it? Open your mouth. <laughs> oh! That's the same thing Harvey always says. <laughs> All right, here's your paper, Daddy. Oh, better not! Oh, better not, paper! Oh, please, Daddy. Please read me the funny papers. All right. Yeah, like they do it. Hey, 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 Where's hey. The oh, well, it's a little comic about little orphan Annie. Hey, little orphan Annie! <laughs> I tried to be a father. It was a whole mistake. Yeah, but that... I don't want a kid around the house. It was my wife's idea. Just uh -huh. go back where I got you from. Go back to your home. I I'm sorry it happened uh, well, like this. I, I, I know how you feel. It, it, this is always what happens to me. Then you're used to it. Go on. <laughs> I just, I just have no luck. I'm, I'm, I'm jiky. It's okay. Go back and shave. <laughs> I can't be a father. I'm sorry. I like a nice and quiet when I come home. Jimmy, what's happened, dear? I, I can't take this kid. I mean, I can't be a father. I like a nice, quiet house. I send him back. I see. Well, we'll have to send him back. Right. Or we'll come here. Huh? Come here. Come over here. <coughs> Before you go back, aren't you going to give Daddy the book, the present that you brought him? I didn't get no book or present or... The present that you brought Daddy. Under the couch you hid it. Remember, Orville? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Under the couch you hid Oh, yeah, I remember I put it there now. Here, here you are, Daddy. A very Merry Christmas, because you're a swell dad. Now, what is this? Well, isn't that sweet, Dean? Now, read it. What is a boy? I know what a boy is. Dean, read it very quietly. Between the innocence of babyhood and the dignity of manhood, you find a delightful creature called a boy. A boy is truth with dirt on its face, beauty with a cut on its finger, wisdom with bubble gum in its hair, and the hope of future with a frog in its top. A boy is a composite. He has the appetite of a horse, the digestion of a sword swallower, the energy of a pocket-sized atomic bomb, the curiosity of a cat, the lungs of a dictator, the imagination of a Paul Bunyan, the shyness of a violet, the audacity of a steel trap, the enthusiasm of a firecracker, and when he makes something, he has five thumbs on each hand. Nobody else gets so much fun out of trees, dogs, and breeze. Nobody else can cram into one pocket a rusty knife, a half-eaten apple, 
three feet of a spring, two gumdrops, six cents, a chunk of unknown substance, and a genuine supersonic code ring with a secret compartment. The boy is a magical creature. You can lock him out of your workshop, but you can't lock him out of your heart. Can't get him out of your study, but you'll never get him out of your mind. Might as well give up. He's your captor, your jailer, your boss, and your master. But when you come home at night with only the shattered pieces of your hopes and dreams, you can mend them like new with two magic words. Hi, Dad. is a familiar ring. It's found in the best of bathtubs, and it calls for Ajax. Use Ajax! Boom, boom. Only Ajax! Clean so quick! Polish is so bright! And works so easy! Use Ajax! Boom, boom. The foaming cleanser! It cleans your tub just like a whiz! You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax! So use Ajax, boom, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Floats the dirt right down the drain. Boom, 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 boom. Only Colgate's Ajax brings mirror brightness to your bathroom. That's right. And in your kitchen, too. Only Ajax. Clean so quick. Polish is so bright. Works so easy. Mm, and Ajax smells good, too. So use Ajax. Get two cans. One for the bathroom, one for the kitchen. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. Uh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're more than kind. This is what we commonly refer to theatrically as the spot in one, otherwise known as the performer's specialty time. When he comes before the first curtain and he does something by himself without the aid of any of the cast and so on. Well, this is where I usually do my numbers and crazy things and I always get real excited about it. It's, it's, it's such a thrilling thing to do, you know? And uh, well, this is my time to do that certain special thing, but unfortunately, when I sat with Dean and the writers and everything, they, they never came up with anything for me to do here. But in television, we are on the clock all the time, and we must stick to schedule, and I usually do my specialty for three minutes. Now, figuring out what this is costing them. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We just want to want you to know that uh, January 12th, we're opening at the Sands Hotel, uh, at the Copa Room, at the Sands Hotel in uh, Las Vegas, Las That's Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, in Nevada. We want all you people in New York to remember the day, January 12th, in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> uh, 
I think it would be nice if we called down a gentleman, ladies and gentlemen. Who, Phil? Yeah, a gentleman who, at the last minute, came on the show because, well, he's just a nice man. And we would like to ask you to join us in paying our tribute to one of the greats of our business, Mr. Jack Benny, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Benny! I want to thank you, fellas, for giving me one of the best parts that I have ever had <laughs> on any show, really. Well, What Jack, is that date you're opening at the Copacabana? Uh, no, that's at the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas, Jack. It's January 12th, but it's awfully expensive there. Oh, oh. Well, I, I'm, I'm coming, though. I'm bringing a big, big party over. Oh, really? That that's yeah, awesome? Yeah, yeah. You are bringing a party? That's right. <laughs> Jeez, to me, you know, where you fellas are concerned, I mean, money is nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know that because I'm getting nothing for what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, it'll be nice to you. And thanks again, because That's this quite is right, probably Jack. the best thing I've ever done yeah. on television. Well, you know? we certainly were glad to be part of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you a lot, Jack. Benny. What's the cue? Is the band cue? Hey, Dick, can you hear us, Dick? Yeah, because we're going to do it now. You ready, Dick? Yeah. Dean, let him hear it. Hold this. All right, you ready? ready? And so, ladies and gentlemen, watch next week when Barbara Ann Scott and company are in the Hollywood Ice Review on this Merry show. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year. And when we to see you again, you. keep just one thing in mind. Just remember there's the east side, the west side. Well, up town and down in this great big metropolis known as New York Times. behalf of the Colgate Palm Olive Company and the entire cast and crew of the Colgate Comedy Hour, I want to wish you the happiest of holidays, the very merriest of Christmases, and the very best of New Year's. May peace and plenty, health and happiness go with you every step of the way. This is George Putnam saying goodnight for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Palm Olive Company, makers of quality products since 1806.